Today is just a quick video to talk about the news that HD Zero have officially launched their new VRX module. We have pricing. It is going to be heading towards dealers in the next couple of days, and some dealers are even taking pre-orders for it already. Now, this morning, Carl put a post up on the HD Zero Facebook page that announced the price for the new module is $199. It's great to see this come in below that $200 barrier that I was talking about in some of my other videos and it's going to be really good to finally see this VRX be available so people can actually go out and get involved with HD Zero. Now, I have covered this already on the channel, but the basics are this isn't an upgrade from the original module. It is basically a replacement for that original SharkBite or HD Zero module that is available. If I bring it up full screen, you can see it does look very similar in size and shape overall to the original one that I've got here. However, there are a few big changes. The biggest being that there are no patch antennas built into the new module, and instead, you've got four SMA ports. This is to allow you to make the choice yourself on what antennas you want, rather than being forced to use two patches on this one and only having the option for two externals. Whilst this does allow for more options, it does mean that you're going to need to purchase antennas for use with the unit because there are none included in the pack and the advice is that you populate all four antenna ports as well so if you don't have four antennas do take that into account before ordering the module the choice for you is what options you want to set it up with for instance you could go a single patch and three omnis two patches two omnis three patches or even four but the real point i want to make on this is it is important that you do populate all of the antenna ports, even if you have to put cheaper antennas on some of the ports compared to more expensive ones on the other, it will just ensure that you are getting the best possible performance from the unit. Now, the biggest changes, as I've said, on this module is the fact that it has the four SMAs, but there are a couple of extra little changes as well. First of all, it has a real-time clock built in, which means you'll have now proper time and date recording on the DVR. It has a dedicated port for the Express LRS backpack functionality, and it does ambient audio recording as well on the DVR. As I've said already, it isn't designed to be an upgrade from this original module, so if you are a user of the SharkBite module, there is no reason to run out and order this today. You can carry on with your existing one because there's no performance improvements as a result of the new module. It's simply more about availability than anything else. Overall, its shape and size is basically the same, although it is a little bit deeper by about 2 mil, and it does use more power than the original SharkBite module as well due to a chip change as a result of the component shortage around the globe. Now, overall, it is pretty much what we expected, although the colouring is quite interesting. It's come out all black. I'm not sure what I was expecting on the colour. It wasn't all black, that's for sure. I seem to have got this colour in my head for some reason. However, when I saw the image, I was sort of, oh, it's black. I wasn't expecting that, but it is what it is. It's nothing to do with functionality, but overall, it's the same setup as we had before. Now, some dealers are taking pre-orders for this module already. As I've said, the pricing is $199 in the US, and in the UK, you can actually pre-order it with Hobby RC, and it is available for £189. Now, I was originally going to be ordering one of these in in the UK to do a review on, but I've actually decided not to a minute because I've sort of been told that supply isn't going to be massive on these in the early days. And as a result of that, I don't really want to order one in and be in the position where I'm taking one out of someone's hands who wanted to buy one to get involved with HD Zero themselves. So instead, I've decided to hold back and I'll probably try and make some content on this module when availability improves but for now I'm going to hold off and allow you guys to get what you've been waiting for because it's been a very very long time since modules have been available. Having looked around some of the dealers I've had a quick look on Get FPV, and they're not currently showing it available for pre-order in the US but I haven't gone through all of the dealers so what I would suggest doing is if you are interested in getting you one go on to the 
the HD Zero website. They have an authorized dealer section at the bottom and they list all of their dealers around the world under here. So you can go on there, find out which one is there for you and then have a look if they've added pre-orders as well. Overall, that's it on this one. It has been a long awaited release. We don't know what supply is going to be like on this module right now because there have been delays and things like that going on in China that has resulted in things getting set back again and again and again. Hopefully, even if batch one is quite small, preceding batches should build up and hopefully in the next couple of months, the shortage of components around HD Zero should go away and you'll be able to simply hop on board and get what you want any time without any issues at all. Now, that's it from me. If you're interested in seeing more content on HD Zero, I do have a number of videos on this system on the channel. There is a playlist with that on as well, so please do check it out. If you'd like to support us to keep making content, please do consider checking out my Patreon as well as buy me a coffee too. Please let me know what you think about the pricing. I have seen some interesting comments on this around pricing. Some people sort of suggesting it isn't as cheap as they thought. However, you've got to take into account that original module sale price, $99, was never realistic. And whilst you have got to buy more antennas for this, it may add up to similar pricing as the original module. It's still not bad overall, especially if you're someone with a high-end set of goggles already, such as the HDO2s, the Skyzone O4Xs, or the Orcas, where you can simply plug it in. But you do need to factor in that additional cost when we are talking about buying the module, because as I've said, you need four antennas, and they don't come included with the kit. Anyway, that's it for me. Stay safe, and I will speak to you guys again soon.